Welcome back. There's a huge rise in Americans taking and faking sick days. Perfectly healthy workers are lying to their bosses over the real reason why they're calling out. Some attribute it to their frustrations or mental health, while others simply put it this way, saying, quote, it was a gorgeous day, I just wasn't in the mood to work. Either way, there's a 45% increase in younger workers using sick days. Dana, I feel like mm-hmm. you hate that stuff. Well, I, uh, um, if, you need, uh, if you're sick, you shouldn't come to work because nobody else wants to get your germs. I just remember, even from when I was a little kid, I hated to miss school. And if I, if I was legit sick and I had to stay home, I was so nervous about anything I was missing at school. Not socially so much, but from the homework perspective, I never wanted to be behind. And I still feel like that today. I don't like being away from work, I, but I appreciate the time off when I get it. I would never take a fake sick day. I just wouldn't do it. I love working. I love being here. And I don't know what oh. I would do if I found out someone on my team took a fake sick day. I don't know what I'd do. I'd probably be like Sheila Tracy Jackson Flick on them. Well, I would be scared, too, that someone would find out. Yeah. Like, no repercussions, Greg? Well, I'll just have to point out that in the green room, Dana asked me if she would be, uh, if there were any availability to work on my holiday shows. <laughs> And I'm not joking. No way. Dana. I know. But you know what I hate? Get some rest. I know. You know what I hate? <laughs> People who use their kids to get out of work because I don't have that in my arsenal. So I have to come up with other lies. I might adopt a kid just to get off Fridays, right? <laughs> I've been going, you know, I've been going to children's birthday parties, stopping by orphanages, doing a little window shopping. <laughs> Listen, if I'm here on Fridays, you better be here on Fridays, <laughs> Gutfeld. You know what I would do? Remember the Office episode where Oscar called in sick and Dwight went to his house to conduct surveillance? And yes, it turns out he yes, wasn't sick, yes. he was just gay. Yeah. You remember that? Yeah. He caught it with his gay lover. That's what I would do. I would send someone to the house to confirm. <laughs> oh, my God. Judge. (laughs) So it's my turn after that? Yeah. All right. The only thing I can tell you is you're entitled to sick days. The question as to whether or not a mental health day is a sick day, to me, the answer is no. And, you know, I've heard people say, you know what, I'm going to be sick Thursday and Friday on Tuesday. That infuriates me, because when I ran an office, nobody would dare do that. But this is post-pandemic. You know who you can blame for this? You can blame the the pandemic and... I was going to say Fauci or China. Which China, one? China. What if you're okay, sick in the head? Us, huh? What if you're sick in the head? Yeah, then China too, for some reason. <laughs> but the truth is that everybody's just getting lazier and nobody wants to work and I can't stand it. And I'm like Dana, you know, but I'm not interested in being working on a holiday, Greg, so don't ask me. <laughs> All I said was if they... <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> ah, never mind. <laughs> one more thing. I did, I did, I did. <laughs> hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews, and most compelling analysis, you will not get it anywhere else.